Once Alex and I were arguing about something silly as we were getting the kids ready for school. I can't even remember what it was about. But the thing is that we were sitting in the car not talking to one another when suddenly there was a voice at the back of the car saying, Mommy, say sorry to Daddy. I was angry but I was cornered. I had no choice but to say I'm sorry. And so the thing is that, you know, our words actually have the power to build up or to tear down the person. And whether we choose to, um, you know, argue about something or just make somebody feel like the lowest person on earth, our words can actually do that. So in a relationship where we have a problem, you know, I have to really be very conscious about making sure I don't say or do the following things. You didn't come from my sister's party when you said you would. You're always breaking promises like that, never thinking about other people. What do your parents teach you? Now there's no one actually in the house. I told you to pay the bill. I'm so sure I told you three weeks ago to go pay the bill. And now there's no one actually. It's but, all done. But I was so busy with the kids. I was taking to school, I had to clean the house. I don't care. I told you to pay the bill. So it's, you pay the bill. There's a lot of things to do. I, I don't care. Mind. My struggle has always been my tone of voice in how I talk and also my sarcasm. So the thing is that it's not easy to bite my tongue and hold it in when I really want to say something that is on my head. But the thing is that I need to actually make an effort at it. And uh, I do fail, but it is something that we need to be conscious about. Talking about problems should be done when you're not tired or feeling cranky. Um, sometimes taking time off to really just cool down and gathering your thoughts is very helpful and then coming back again to talk about it. So the thing is that um, I find that the, the stuff that really helps me is really being able to share my feelings instead of criticizing someone. So for example, saying like, you know, what you did made me feel this way is actually a much better way of approaching it than saying that you always do this to me. So coming back to saying sorry, Sometimes the best way to solve a conflict is to actually swallow your pride and just say, I'm sorry. My marriage needs my humility, not my pride. Not fighting. <laughs>